site with another magnificent view and potentially all those blue skies so yet again the research has proved we can find a good campsite this is situated by the lock. I haven't seen midges yet, but that they may be here to come. But look what we've got as companions Highland Coos. So, Sammy's got some friends to play with, isn't you, Sam? See the milk out, Mama. Sam, you seen the Highland Coos? Sam just making himself comfortable on his seat. See, I noticed there's not a lot of wind sound, and I'm off mic. However, as you know, I've got the mic plugged in, and consequently compared, and consequently compared to yesterday, which was beautiful and only a light breeze and sunny. This morning is beautiful and sunny, no breeze. But a thousand midges. I've been sick, bit six times this morning already. There you go. Morning. That's a nice little campsite. <clears throat> Showers are push pull, but work. Yesterday I filmed a buzzard over there and for the first time ever saw one fall from the sky for it to land on its prey and thought excellent that'll make a money shot for the videos and then went to press stop on the video and realised I hadn't recorded it yet again. <laughs> So a nice little stop over on the sky. I mean, you can see in the distance there somebody's wild camping on the side of the road, I think. There they are. 
Yeah, so last night I took Sammy on this walk, which is a designated dog walk by the uh, lock. And uh, it's, it's enclosed. So I thought, well, I'll let him off his lead, give him a chance. And he was doing really well. And then all of a sudden just went vroom, straight out into the lock. I absolutely soaked he was. By it, at which point it didn't matter then. He wouldn't come back naturally. So I went and sat on a rock and waited for him and eventually he came back over. So he had to sit in his doggy bag last night, which he wasn't happy about, but it really does work. Um, after about 20 minutes came out, he was damp, but you know, not too bad. And then I think he was feeling sorry for himself, so he wanted uh, to sit and have a cuddle. So, yeah, that's Samalu. Definitely got his feet wet in the western sky, in the western shores. Keep smiling. So, Big Pete, apparently it's full of strong, smoky peat flavours. So I guess it'll be like a Lafreg. Um made from a blended whiskey from uh, the Isle of Skye, I think. Could be wrong. Islay, I think that's the Isle of Skye. So, I watched Harry Potter 6 last night, or the first 2 hours and 30 minutes of it, I've got another, I don't know, 20 minutes of it left to, to watch, I think it's Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince, and I, I might have confused myself at the uh, last Harry Potter update in which I said the fifth one was really good, I think that's called The Order of the Phoenix, which makes a lot more sense. So what did I think of the Half-Blood Prince? Well, I've still got 30 minutes to go, but at the moment I'd say it's dull. Uh, shockingly, I did have to ask Mrs. G who Draco was at the beginning, because there was a lot of talk about him undertaking some mission for Voldemort. And then uh, she was uh, a little bit shocked uh, that I didn't realize that was Draco. Uh, Harry's nemesis but uh, I can't remember hearing his first name but I'm sure I did I have been watching them I promise I've not fallen asleep in any of them yet even though God, 2, 3 and 4 God, that was a killer uh, yeah so alright I'll give you an up uh, update once I've seen the last 20 minutes or half hour or so maybe, maybe it all gets a bit more interesting Mrs. G keeps telling me it's building to a crescendo. Well, it might be, but uh, I'm someone who sat and watched a whole season of Game of Thrones that centered around the, uh, red, uh, the red Wedding or a wedding. So I know what uh, slow pace is. Um, yeah, so keep smiling. Finished off Harry Potter 6. The Half Blood Prince, and I uh, didn't see it coming that uh, the last 20 minutes would reveal who that is. So, the thing is, though, I'm, I'm not sure why it even matters or what it even means. Maybe uh, it's supposed to be, um, maybe he's half muggle, I don't know. Anyway, so. Yeah, finished half by Prince. It was all right. It wasn't as good as the fifth one. Um, and Dumbledore dies. Bloody hell. I think that he'll be back and that him and Snape are in a plan together to help Harry to beat Voldemort. So, there you go.